Well, it wants to indicate on the right side, but it needs to just go straight. Now we have a strange situation here. We have a, an edge case where we have a lot of cars wanting to make a left turn and there's a, a backing up of that left turn lane. Uh, but it looks like it's flowing now, so we should have room to go. What I would have done is indicated, go to the right lane and then go back into the left lane. But it looks like Marsha wants to try to do it here. She's a little bit hesitant, so I'm going to have to give it some intervention there with some jewels to the pedal. Okay, she's getting a little bit overconfident now. She accelerates really quickly at 62, so I'm going to lower that down. Uh, we're now in a 40 range here. I'm just going to bump it up a little bit. So that was an uh, intervention there with the scroll wheel to lower the speed down. Car making a right turn. It slows down appropriately and then it continues on, which is pretty good. Not too much cars behind me, so I'm a little bit more relaxed. And we have our turn coming up here in 400 meters. Uh, we did have, in our previous videos, some issues with it recognizing the lanes, especially with low visibility. So I'm curious to see how it performs in a little bit better lighting conditions. Notice that the car does tailgate a little bit too close for my liking. I find it could, it could improve in terms of letting us, or, oh, we have to make a left turn here, giving us the option to, to adjust the follow distance. I'm giving it some jewels here so that way it goes up. We have no cars behind me, so it should be fine. Just going to let it do its thing. We should have went with the truck, but instead it's very hesitant still, uh, and it makes a change. And uh, wow, perfect. If you realize there, the lanes, there were no lane markings, so it was a little bit difficult for the car to judge. It's going straight into the uh, into the lane here, and then it, it, it adjusts its position back out of the uh, the lane. That was that's pretty pretty amazing. I'm going to give it some jewels now, just for it to get back into the correct lane here. So that was another intervention. Uh, it wants to overtake this car here, which is not good because it wants to make that lane, uh, that lane change on Sheep Rock. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to take back control here, disengage and then re-engage here. It wants to get into this lane here. And perhaps I would have done that. I would have made that change myself, like how Marsha was doing it there, but you know, it, it's, it was fine for me to stay in my lane and then make that lane change when the lane was open. That's the best practice, in, in my opinion, at least. Okay, so we, can, we could not go there, so we're just right here chilling. I'm just going to go up a little bit. Okay, so now we have the green light. We aren't going anywhere. I'm just going to give it some jewels now. I'll let it do its thing. Not too sure if it would be wise to go now. I wouldn't go. Perfect. So she just stopped right in her tracks, backtracking and saying, nope, that car is going too quickly. Let me just wait for a while. I still wouldn't go now. In my opinion, still not safe. We might have to wait for the light to change so that way we can actually uh, get out of this intersection here. Okay, yellow light. That truck just broke that light there. And uh, yeah, here we go. So now that was a, <laughs> that was a quick left turn. She darted on that turn, making it, I guess to be cautious too as well, to get out of the way quickly. You have all stop, we can go now. Be good to go. And that was perfect. It's freaking out a little bit with the truck, thinking that the truck is coming into my lane but then she quickly adjusted i think a lot of these phantom braking incidents are due to its response time and also due to the trajectory of, of objects 
sometimes the objects appear to be in my lane when it actually is not. So then it shows the object as being blue, which means they are in my path. And so it slows down and then quickly adjusts as it realizes that it isn't actually in my lane. Just bumped up the speed there, so a quick intervention to uh, increase our speed. We have a right turn coming up here now. Should be clear to make that. Whoops, a little bit rough. She makes that really well, really confidently. No issues at all. Besides that indicator, <laughs> not too sure why it's indicating there when we just have to go straight. So besides that, everything was pretty good. No indication here on a winding turn here, so that was good. We do have a sharp turn here coming up. There's a truck coming on the left-hand side here. Uh, it's in its lane, so we should be fine. No issues with that. Is it gonna indicate here now around this corner? No. No. I didn't know 30 kilometers was this, <laughs> was this slow. But um, yeah, it's gonna bump that up there to, to 40. And it's indicating a little too early, so it might trigger, yeah, it's gonna trip out, make a correction, and then go back into the lane. So we can go forward here. Um, we have to go, so I'm giving it some jewels. I left it off, my foot is lifted off of the, of the power. And all right, perfect. Stayed in its lane through this left lane, all good. Bumping it up to 55. Ooh, hitting that pothole there nicely. Okay, I mean, actually that wasn't that bad. We have a tight squeeze here, if it can make that squeeze for us without hitting that sign. Okay, that was perfect. Now we have a car in our lane here, a bit in, in its own lane. A bit in the other lane as well as this lane, so it's a bit tricky. It's not trying to overtake, it's waiting right behind it, probably realizing that there's a stop sign in front of us, so there's no need to. And there's no space on the side to overtake either way. Uh, we have a right of way to go, but I'm gonna have to disengage, so it didn't make that. We could have made that left turn and, uh, and safely get on our way. And that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that notification bell. Let us know how we can improve. Let us know what you think could have been done differently and how it should have behaved. Thank you again and have a good day. Bye.